blackboards and fingernails The chill and shivering spine I tend to bolt at the end of my tether I, You learn to shorten the twine And then, like two months later, you just had a whole song. Yeah, then I altered the four chords, the <laughs> chorus, and we were done. Yeah. Um, I uh, think there are lots of songs. There are some times when you'll just come and go, I've got three new songs, and they've been written in literally four weeks or something. But then, other times, it's taken over a year for any, anything to come. Yeah, I've kind of had a writing book for a long time, and now just come up with this the last six weeks with. Um, well, three new songs, which one of which we're hoping to do, but we're teaching Ben at the moment. Um, <laughs> so, can you go repeat the original question? You can actually answer. <laughs> um, well, I was asking really about the, the similes in, in black boys yeah. and fingernails. And how, it's difficult to come up with them, or do they come quite easily? In okay, yes, yeah, so I was going to say in black boys and fingernails, um, the ideas actually seem to come quite naturally. I'd, I'd written two or three songs before that until I think I was heavily I was in. Um, my mind was set up for writing, if you like, at that particular time. Um, and strangely enough, that's the one song I could ever actually genuinely claim for it to, that it's come to me. Because I woke up in the middle of the night and woke my girlfriend up, which annoyed her, and ran downstairs. It would do, bearing in mind the, the truth, what the song was about. Um, and um, ran downstairs and just wrote the chorus down straight away. It was kind of in my head when I woke up was the fact that evil is a letter from love, and that was. Yeah, so that's the only thing that's ever come directly, na like, 
to me completely naturally in terms of working out you know, little English tricks. <laughs> When we've seen you before, you've uh, sometimes played scattered round the venue. Is that something you enjoy doing as, as a group? <laughs> yeah, that's a nice one. That's what we that's what we tend to do at this venue as well. It's really good for it. And that's what Ben is just like. Are we plugged in today? And if we say yeah, it's just. Oh, <laughs> I, come I do. I do enjoy it a lot. It's because you get to run around. Yeah. yeah. Ben solves it. We don't do that. I like. I like to go and talk to different people. <laughs> Ben, I see you've uh, still got the shaky egg on your foot. <laughs> <laughs> it's much better when we are unplugged because you hear it. No one ever, apart from maybe once, has it ever been mic'd up. So I, I rarely, rarely get it heard if we are mic'd up. But yeah. It's part of the look, really. It's, it's more about it's the look. It's an aesthetic. <laughs> you do have a kind of interesting um, percussion yeah. arrangement, don't you? Yeah, it was. I think it was because I was the only percussionist. Lewis was adamant that drum kit shouldn't really be involved, and it was kind of to get various sounds by played by one person. It was just what I had uh, and how I could attach it together without spending loads of money. And I realised that was with a belt and some gaffer tape. <laughs> <laughs> what are the instruments called that you have, like with the balls and things? I don't even know what you're talking about. Do you know what I mean? Oh, like a plane. <laughs> yeah, I do have a plane. I think you should have one of them attached here. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, sorry. I keep on trying to find new ways to incorporate more. There might be ways for new album stuff or something. But, uh, yeah, other foot stuff. <laughs> yeah, got a spare one. <laughs>